What is good, my Rags and Fitness people, my Rags and Fitness folks, my Rags and Fitness family, your man Rags. Back off up in this thing when I tell you to finish. Talking about a knee deep. All the way off up in it. Hey, for all my weight loss journey people, keep God first. Very important. Keep your head to the sky. Shake all of the haters off. Right? <laughs> and for all of my crazy tired football fans, can I please? Get a roll tide roll, baby. <laughs> hey, and for my guy, Icebox. No, I'm not in Planet Fitness. <laughs> hey, guys. We're here to discuss the Alabama Crimson Tide, right? It's going to be the Monday after the Mississippi State game, right? Guys, I know a lot of us are still dissatisfied with the way that we played. Some of us are still dissatisfied with the quarterback play. But I think, overall, that we did a good job. Hey guys, before I continue to go on, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hey man, shout out to all my people that's been showing Rats love. Subscribing, comment, liking, all of the above, right? Hey, y'all Rats gonna be breaking up a little bit because I'm real tired right now, right? But, let's get back to this football game. All right, so this is Texas A&M Texas A and we, we got some things we need to clean up. And one of the biggest issues that I see thus far is that defensive line, I mean, them linebackers need to shoot the gaps better, right? I'm figuring if we would have had Deontay Lawson in there, he would have probably shot those gaps a little bit better, him being a little bit more of a veteran player. But uh, Jahi Campbell, Trez Marshall, Trisman Marshall. They're gonna have to hit that, hit them gaps a little bit better than that. Defensive line how to contain a little bit better, right? But Max Johnson is gonna be a beast this weekend coming up, right? This guy has to give him Texas AM a shot in the arm, right? And this guy is balling out of control right now. So with us going into the 12th man, the loud crowd, all that going on, we're gonna have to show up. Hey, another thing we're going to have to fix, that uh, center quarterback combination, right? That exchange. We're going to have to fix that, guys, because it's going to be real loud in uh, the college station. We're going to have to fix that exchange between quarterback and the, uh, and the center, right? I don't know what's going on, but uh, this guy snapping the ball with Miro is not even looking. Miro, I think, is doing a pretty good job. He's now recognizing that this is his team. This is his team. It ain't no more quarterback competition. This is his team. So he's gonna have to take control, take command, and uh, lead us to this victory. Texas A&M and College Station. This is gonna be a, our toughest game yet, I believe, guys, on the road. Um, running game, look pretty good. Need to keep that going. Get them big hog mollies up front. But Kate Proctor came back in for Pritchett. Did a pretty good job. They just need to focus on that hip play. Getting them hips down and uh, not playing so stiff and letting these guys whip them off the ball. Um, what else we got? I like what I seen from the cornerbacks from the uh, secondary. Got the young boy, Caleb Downs out there. Still doing his thing. Terry on him. I like what I see. We created some turnovers. I predicted that in my last video. If you watch it, say, hey, we're going to get some turnovers. Hopefully the defensive line be the ones getting it. Chris Braswell got him one and took it to the house for pick six. Now we can say, well, Chris Braswell is not really defensive line, he's a linebacker. But the way that they play the linebackers, a lot of times they play up on line. Sometimes they put their hands in the mud and the dirt and get dirty. So I classify him sometimes as a defensive line, right? Somewhat of a hybrid defensive end type guy. What else? What else we got? Guys. As far as the coaching go, I believe we uh, we kept a little bit to be desired. Uh, offensive coordinator, I believe he's gonna bring a little bit more out this coming game with Texas A&M. Uh, guys, we're gonna have to, have to bring our A game. Hopefully we got some Alabama uh, fans that's gonna be showing up in College Station. So, yeah. Hopefully we got some uh, people that's gonna be there, man, because they're gonna be loud. But if we play Alabama football, play to our standards, 
I believe we can beat them because you know that Jimbo Fisher want us bad, right? Jimbo Fisher want to thump up on us real good, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, like I said, guys, I think we stick behind them, play one game at a time. We still right in the thick of things. This game right here is going to mean a lot because Texas A&M and Alabama both is at the top of the West right now, both undefeated in conference play. So we need to beat them in order to get their head to head and get on top of them. But this is what college football is about, guys. Stuff like this, the atmosphere is gonna be off the charts. But I believe that we'll pull it through. Oh, guys, Rags trying to change. It's all about that discipline, right? Right? So we want our football team to be disciplined. We want them to not have so many flags. We want them to be the best. We want them to be student athletes. So the best that I could do is to show them that I'm coming in here trying to work a little bit with them too, right? It's about discipline. Try to discipline yourself and do what you can do to better yourself, right? What you do behind the scenes, what counts, right? Your core values. So, hey guys, with all that being said, old rags don't work chest today. Now I'm getting a little cardio. It's gonna be time to head up out of here in a few. So with all that being said, man, I'm out of here already. Yeah.